Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can style your Bellamy Bugatti hair extensions to look like this. Turn on the bell so you can get notifications. Let's get started. I decided to do this video because if you are new to my channel and don't know, um, I, about a year ago, I filmed a video where I styled my same Bellamy Bugatti extensions into my hair, but at the time my hair was platinum blonde and my hair was probably about like this length. So I just wanted to show you how I style it now because I don't style it the same way whatsoever and that video has to date been my most popular video by far so I just wanted to share with you guys what I'm doing now a bit of a hair update and all that jazz so as you can see she is kind of faded a little bit because I haven't colored her in about two months because we're gonna have a new hair update shortly, so I'm trying to not put any more red in her. Um, sadly, we're gonna we're gonna switch again, and we're gonna get away from the red. But I will be creating a video about that when that happens, so stay tuned. But that's why my hair is a little faded out to a coppery color in the front, and she's not. She needs a trim. She's got some issues, but I'm just, again, just gonna show you what I do so that you have that information before I completely change my hair and God knows if I'll still style it the same way. So I just wanna share that with you before it's lost forever. I've already got fucking lipstick on my teeth, so let's get started. I'm starting out here with freshly washed hair. Um, I usually like to style my hair like the day after I wash it and normally I'll like wash it the night before and then style it the next morning. I feel like my curls stay better that way and any style stays better that way. But I needed to wash my hair and I wanted to film this today. So here we are. I let it air dry for probably about a half an hour and then I go in with my blow dryer and a large round brush and blow dry her. I don't straighten or curl um until i have my extensions in so that's what i'm gonna do now first things first i take the lowest section of my hair you barely want very much hair down here honestly like just this little tiny teensy bit of hair something i don't really do anymore is i don't really put hairspray in my hair like rarely so before i would hairspray and back comb now I just back comb. So I'm gonna take this section and just lightly back comb it. So if you have more coarse hair, um, where extensions will just, like they can clip in and stay in your hair, you probably don't need a back comb, but this is what I do with my kind of hair. And finally, we get to take these babies. I'm gonna take my three clip and just clip her right on in. And now we have achieved the mullet. You're basically all set. That's all we need. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, next week we're gonna show you how to style your rat tail. So my next sex, my next set, my next section, Jeebus. For the next section, I take my hair right about the tops of my ears. So like right here. So I try and keep this pinned up and I just, I cut it off right by my ear hole. Same thing, just a little bit of back combing, not too much. So I'm gonna take my four clip piece and just clip it right there, right where I back combed. For our next section, I like to go at about my temple and part her off 
So this section I make quite a bit thicker because I'm taking the giant weft, the giant piece of hair. So like that's how far up I'll go and that's where the last clip is right here. I got a big head and for little people, these wefts probably reach all the way around your head. For me, they don't. So I take these front pieces right above my ears I do not backcomb these, not only because my hair is thin and damaged in the front mostly, um, but I don't pull my clips on this level up so close to my face. I don't start them until like right here. So basically I just kind of like section these off from my face. Then from there I take the sections where I'm actually going to clip my hair in and I backcomb. And on this one, I back comb a little bit further down just because it is the two layers of clips. So you'll see here, I back comb to like all the way down here. This is all back combed because then the bottom layer actually has something to clip onto. All right, that's all set. So we're gonna take this bad boy and clip him in. So I find that the best way to clip this one in is I start from the middle. So this middle clip on top and you wanna hook that in first. So hook it into your hair, clip it. Go on the sides, these two, hook them in, clip them. And then try to get these hooked in, clipped. Go to the top corners, hook in and clip. Bottom corners, hook in and clip. Try not to clip them into the extensions below. You wanna try and clip it into your hair as close to your scalp as possible, but that's why I back comb so far down is because if I can't get these right onto my scalp, this bottom row, then I'll clip them into the hair that these are already clipped onto. And as I go along, I try to brush them down to make sure that we have a good clip in. Because sometimes when you brush, see that? It pulls down on it. So, if that happens, I back comb a little bit extra and just shove it right on in. So this is the part where it gets a little bit tricky. It all depends on how you part your hair. If you're gonna part your hair like me, where it's pretty far over to one side and you've got big old bangs, follow this way. If you're gonna part it in the middle, like right down the middle, you want to make sure your extensions are matching up as much as possible, like as best you can on either side. So when I'm doing this, it'll make more sense, but you don't want to do it this way if you part your hair in the middle, but again, I part my hair way over to the side, so I need to put more clips over here where my bangs are to make it blend, and fewer clips over here where my little thin hair is. For this layer, we want to go a little tiny bit above our last set. That's barely, like, top of your temple like this is mid temple top of my temple is where I part this but so you can see this is about how much hair I have right here and this is about how far it is from that clip not very far and in the back follow along with it make sure you're not going up too high in the back because it'll show your extensions it's cute it's so cute oh take that hair back comb her take a four clip piece with this guy you want to start over here so right all the way at the edge and I'm doing this on the side that I have my bangs on so 
So if you have your bangs on the other side, start it over there with the four piece. So if you are parting your hair in the middle, just do it the same way if you have one side of your head that's thicker, put the four clip on um, just cause it's gonna have more hair on it. On the other side, I'm using a two clip piece, but you want them, they meet up right here. See, they're almost on top of each other basically. So I'm kind of creating my own like six piece clip. All right, and if we thought that was tricky, this is the trickiest part, but we're almost done. So don't get too upset. Again, it's gonna be different if you have a middle part or if you have bangs on the other side. Just try and match what I do. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment and ask me anything. I part on this side. So what I do is I try to find my part. I always have a messy part. That's just, that's what I do. I don't need my part to be perfect. And right below my part, like, so here's my part and here's where this weft is. Between these two, I kind of cut in here and I do it basically as close to this weft as possible because my hair is real thin right here and I don't want it showing through, but I also want this hair to blend down into that extension. Same as the other guy, we want him basically as close to the front as possible, but you don't want it to where if you pull this hair down, you can see him. So you kind of have to play with this one. And then we just clip right back in there. Before I start with the other one, I always pull this hair down to make sure that we blend. All right, we are perfect. So then on this side, all we have left now is the last three piece. So what I do is I have pretty thick bangs. So I like to, and I have a widow's peak, a little tiny baby one. What I do is I go right underneath, like right to the side of my widow's peak. So see, it, it's right there, it's real small, but she still exists. And we're gonna just part right here and try to part along with these below it and with your natural part. So what I do is I do kind of like a little hook where I go around and back. So we take our last little guy, our three piece here, and we clip him. And again, you want to make sure it's as close to the front as possible. So now all of our hair is in, you want to really go through and brush it to make sure there's no knots and that she's doing okay, right? We want her blended. My favorite way of doing this is I pull all my hair in the back like so and I kind of try and find the middle of it. You don't have to part it all the way from the top, but just like at the nape of your neck, find the middle and pull it to the sides. So when I found out how I wanted my hair to look after lots of years of trying to figure this out, um, I had found a lot of pictures of girls with those big beachy waves, um, how most of my Instagram pictures look now, where my hair is curly but like big curls. Um, so I asked one of my good friends, Madison Tilton. She works at Salon U. If you want to go see her, she's amazing. Um, she's actually going to be fixing up my hair next and we're going to do some fun stuff. But I asked her, how the fuck do these girls style their hair like this? Like I always try to curl my hair and my curls are always too tight or they look funky or whatever. She said, find yourself a one and a half inch barrel curling iron she showed me how to do this. She is the one who taught me this and she is great. Go see her, she's awesome. I bought this Conair. It's a one and a half inch barrel curling iron. It is literally so cheap looking. Like, I can't even, like when I got it, I was like, oh no. I only spent $15 on this on Amazon and I'm not shitting you, this is the best curling iron I have ever owned in my life. Like, by far the best. It is well worth the $15 and I'm so glad I bought this and didn't spend a fuck ton of money on like the same thing. So, 
I will link this down below as always, but I highly, highly, highly recommend this guy. All right, sorry if you guys noticed my lighting changed. Um, I had to turn the light on so that I could plug my curling iron into the outlet that I wanted because hashtag electricity is great. She's pretty warm. Um, I only have her set to 10 on here. And sorry that when I'm styling this, it's gonna be in the way because I have to plug it in up high because that's the only one that'll reach. The first section I take is usually right by my face and it's this guy with my, what I call my little bangs. So like my big bangs, my little bangs. So we want to pull this all together, try and brush it out as best as possible. And you want to take your curling iron, run it along there real lightly, right? Look at my dog's foot. And you want to start it where you want the curl to start, basically. And you just curl up like that a little bit and you slowly keep going. You just keep pulling, like you pull off, let down. Or you press this up, pull down and curl. Okay, and then when we're all the way at the end, you don't wanna brush it out, just leave it. So that's basically what I do for my whole entire head. Um, I try to keep my hair parted and I try to uh, style this side first and then this side last because my bangs, I usually have to screw with them, but I'm gonna clip them out of the way for now because they're driving me insane. And what I like to do is I like to basically go around my head if that makes sense so like go around my hairline and find the most obvious pieces of my personal hair that are gonna stick out so i find him and i find the extension closest and just take a decent sized chunk the smaller the chunk you take the smaller the curl is gonna be the bigger the chunk the bigger the curl so it's more like a wave and again you do that little number Grab it at a point and curl it. Let go, curl it. Until it basically just wants to fall off. And see, that one's a little, that one's a little bit more loose just because I didn't keep it on there for a very long time. And then you just wanna keep going. On the bottom, I take bigger chunks because I want my curls to be more loose down there and more just like a wave because I want to keep as much length as possible. And I usually start my curl right around where my natural hair ends. So like the tips of my natural hair is where I start the curl at. So like my natural hair is here and this the curl starts right at the end of that. And with the ones up top, I start the curl basically at the very bottom because I don't want my curl all the way up to my head. I like it to be straighter on top and the waves like starting basically at my jawline. I honestly don't like to curl every single piece because I'm gonna end up end up brushing it out so it's kind of pointless to be super obsessive but I really just I make sure that the top and the bottom are pretty curled um, and obviously pieces in the middle but on the bottom middle if that makes sense I leave some pieces uncurled um, or just like like they are over here they're just kind of wavy because when I brush it out 
you can't really tell um, and then sometimes I'll go back in and recurl pieces if they don't blend as well but once I have one side all curled I leave it alone you don't want to brush it out yet you want to go over to the other side and start her up I start in the front and move my way to the back so start with my bangs I take a pretty big chunk of hair because I don't like my bangs to be looking real curly glide right over it and then I start this curl pretty low and I don't curl her up very high like that's about as high as I'll go on it so that way my bangs are pretty straight like they curl a little at the bottom but I don't want curly bangs I really just basically like to keep my bangs like this where they just kind of whoop at the bottom so that they stay out of my face and then I like to take the next piece beside it and I take a slightly smaller amount of hair but still a pretty big chunk and I curl it just a little bit higher So at this point, I feel like I have a decent amount of curl going. Um, I'm going for a bit of a straighter look today. If you want more curls, curl the whole thing. Section it out, curl every single piece. If you want it to be perfect, do that. I don't like that look on myself. I like it to be a little bit messy, look a little bit more natural. Obviously, this shit ain't natural at all, but I want her to have a little bit different like I don't want every curl to be identical I don't want when I brush it out for it to be like foo, 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 foo. and I highly recommend having a professional trim up your extensions and blend them the most important thing to wearing extensions is blending them making sure the color blends, making sure the cut blends, and making sure that your style blends. hope you guys enjoyed this video I love filming these videos I love playing with my extensions and I just hope that it can help you guys I know um, when you're first starting with extensions or when you get a new set it's always pretty daunting and I just hope that my videos can help you out if you guys have any questions or video requests or anything drop a comment if you could please go ahead like subscribe comment follow me on Instagram at blaze McKenna let me know what you want to see next. Let me know what you thought. Thank you guys so much for checking this video out. It means the world to me. 